another nice, nice watery fish right here. Man, this is, these fish, they're a little bit, they're deeper on brush. We can see them with our graphs up here. And I had a jig on, plastic, couldn't get them to bite plastic, so I just took my plastic off. Using the same jig head, just put a minnow on and it's like they're real big fish. It's a pound, a little bit of over a pound, but we're glad to have them. We're gonna keep at them and later on today, the when they get really stacked on brush, we'll be able to catch some much better fish, I hope. But this is a it's still a nice fish. Hey right, folks, we're out here with T.C. Lloyd, Southern Angling Guide Service, and uh, we're just killing them on Watery today. And um, it's uh, the fall of the year; it's late October. Halloween's coming up, and uh, we're just slaying these fish. And T.C., what do you, advice do you have for folks out there right now this time of year? Uh, fish are still on brush. Just get out mid depth range, 12 foot, 20 foot of water. Find brush. Use your electronics. If you don't have any good ones, go buy them. It really helps. Um, I say brush, you can catch fish on brush, but better fish are on anything natural, stumps, logs, anything that's been there for a while. Um, that's what we're catching them on, big logs, they're at 45 degree angles, fish are stacked up underneath them, and this is a, a nice fish, we got some a lot bigger than this in the boat. We're going to keep, keep working on them, and uh, that was a good day. Folks, he mentioned electronics, and he, TC doesn't just guide for the fish. If you got electronics but aren't sure how to use them, or you want to get some electronics, this is the man to tell you how to, what you need and to show you how to work. That's right. So get, just, get you set up with some real good ones. And, uh, you know, to this day and age, they got them, they make them. You need to have them, buy them. It makes it a whole lot better day on the water. Turns a bad day into a good day real quick. That's right. So give them a call. Southern Angle Guide Service. Thanks. All right, y'all, we'll show y'all what we're using today. Nothing fancy. Um, we're throwing jigs first thing this morning. Found out quick. They really didn't prefer the jigs today. So we went, we went to just little minnow rigs. And look, all we got is a, this is a number six gold Aberdeen. It's the size most people brim fish with. But I like these little hooks. The fish don't seem to get more bites with these smaller hooks. But just a number six gold Aberdeen. Uh, number five split shot. Just pinch it on there eight to ten inches above your line your hook just find these brush piles or logs or stumps whatever the fish are on once you find them with your electronics just drop down on them hold it as still as you can and uh wait feel that thump or any pressure on your line and give it a good strong hook, hook set and uh you ain't got no problem catching any fish and this is this is what they're biting today we probably call out maybe 30 by now 25 to 30 every one of them's come number six gold Aberdeen, number five split shot that's all you need all right, one more tip about using the, if you do decide to tight line uh, minnow on just an Aberdeen and a weight is, a lot of people make the mistake of they'll put their weight, you know, it'll be maybe even right in here on the, uh, above the hook, two or three inches. You know, I like to get mine about 12 inches up. Um, the fish are biting bigger minnows now. Well, I don't have to bite a little, I was using real small minnows all summer. Now you can get a decent sized minnow, and with that, you know, that fish can, that little minnow can, he can swim all around, he's got free movement, and, you, and you'll catch a lot more fish. Depending on, it don't matter what size minnow you use, if you keep that weight above the hook where the fish don't see it as much, you will catch more, more fish. They, they do see the weight, get it up above the hook, you'll have much better success. Mm -hmm.